Is this Sam's place? I think this is Sam's place. Gonna be a lot of stuff for me to snoop around. His car, does he get any crazy bumper stickers? No crazy bumper stickers. Out of order, go around. It's good. He's here. Can't go in the dumpsters. Okay. Wait a minute. Visualize the outcome you want. It's dead silent. What happened to all the birds and the wind and whatnot? <laughs> what happened? What happened to the sound? <sighs> well, that's that's a weird mistake to make. That is a real. Did they, did they just not expect people to explore over here? Okay. I guess not. I like how the gates Visualize closed. Visualize the outcome you want. I am, girl. I love the backdrop. It's probably the favorite part about the game. It's just so pretty and so well done. Right? Like, half this game is the character leaning on something looking at the backdrop. Damn it. Do this. I'm ready. Shouldn't I knock? I feel like I should knock. Family's family. Fucker. I already got the lift here in there. Well, he no. talks to himself a bit. Valley, I... Hello. Hi. Hi. You working on? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. God. This article about ocean acidification is really unnerving. What's that? Oh, um, there's an article in today's paper about how climate change is ruining the ocean. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Fish have gotten puny. Spotting fewer and fewer whales. I don't know where we're headed, but. Sure as hell are going there. <sighs> Can't put any of the chain or the valve covers back on. So, uh, did you need something? Um. I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat, is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. Uh, here she is. 
Hold on, I want to snoop first. Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Impressive collection. You want some? Take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Like an encyclopedia. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? <laughs> I like that. Oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. <laughs> well, it, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way. Uh, back at the house. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> Who knows? Huh. All right. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul. Name is L Laura. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the hull. And I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. So, uh, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex wife is doing. <sighs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. We ate at the diner the other night. She was there. She had just cut all her hair off. Okay. His ex-wife's name is Laura, by the way. You remember. How is she otherwise? Stop asking. Sam, I why don't you just talk to her yourself? I do. I talk to her. I ask about Richie and, and Dylan, too. Just talk back and maybe you should respect that right was i fidgeting i think i was bananas are bad luck on a boat no bananas on board really damn right not just superstition this one time this greenhorn brought one on board well you wouldn't believe the day we had <laughs> i'm listening boat was 50 miles south in the Pacific, and our hold was full of the morning's catch. We started pulling in our nets when they got all tangled up in our propellers. Made the damn things useless. Stopped us in our tracks, miles off land. Okay. So what'd you do? Well, we dropped anchor, and I had to dive under and cut out the net. Of course, when we finally managed to fix the damn thing and headed back in, there it was on the horizon. A nasty mother of a storm. Spent the trip back riding out the biggest damn waves I've ever seen. 30 footers, if you can believe it. All because of a banana. All because of a banana. How's the, <laughs> uh, how's the house coming along? Oh, just gonna change topics like that? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. Real shame. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Oh, it's uh, the same one. Yeah, it was time for annual haul out. That seems like a long time for routine maintenance. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's not like I can take her out anyway. They, uh, they want old Sam to uh, dry out a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, that seems sensible. Authorized <laughs> Sam only. Okay. I never, I don't, I don't know why you would name a boat after a person. I find it a little weird, <laughs> or at least a living person. If it's, I can see it being named after someone you cared about who's maybe passed on, you know, like if, if his wife perhaps had died and you wanted to name the boat after her, I, I, I can see that, but it's his ex-wife. 
And I know that he misses her and all that, and that's fine. Freaking nuts. But to name the boat after her is kind of weird to me. What are you doing? Ah, my cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, I told him I'd fix it. Um, okay. Good to know. Oh, this is new. Have some WD-40 or whatever this is. Wait, I'll just pocket that then. What the frick? <laughs> He's gonna be broke probably, right? First Judicial District Court, you hereby summon a peer and answer this complaint. Court appearance is mandatory. Failure to appear results in issuance of an arrest warrant. It's a DUI. Sam, DUIs are bad. Alaskan Fishermen's Association, Jonathan Shelby, Michael Lane Jr. All right, so that's like a regional representative type thing. Okay. Curtis Davis Bank. Payment received, 75, balance, negative 446. Yeah, it's all, <laughs> we got overdraft fees. 555. Five, five. You know how I could tell this is fake? Oh wait, those are different dates. They did do it, look at the fourth. So this is what banks do to, to screw you over. At least American banks. I wouldn't be shocked if banks all around the world do this. As they'll take your purchases from a day. Let's take September 4th here. He made, what, one... He funds transferred from his check. Then he's got two from Vecchi's. Then gas. Then slumber and scrap. So he's got four transactions. You guys may already know this. Whatever. Um... The order in which they get processed is not the order in which they were made. So it says here he went to Vecchi. He did two purchases at Vecchi's, then gas, then Delos Lumber. What they do is, is they process the large transactions first for the day. Not in order. He could have gone to Delos Lumber for $13. And the reason they do that is because it's a higher chance of you hitting an overdraft fee. Um, I learned this quite a while ago when I um, I made a purchase at a gas station for like $6. I got like a drink and a snack or something like that. And I was heading out to do errands and things. So I did that and I didn't have a whole lot in my checking account. And I deposited um, money into the bank to prepare for my errands for the day. And I went out and I made like seven or eight transactions for the day. And when I got my my statement, um, what they did was they processed the transactions first from highest to lowest, and my deposit last. So all of those, I got seven overdraft fees for it. That's what they do to get your overdraft fees. And I think it, it's fucking bullshit. Because I left you my boat a month ago, and as far as I can tell, the only work you've done is test how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but God damn it, I need my boat. Family is family, but get it done by this weekend or I'm reporting it stolen, and I know you're tired of brown on your ass. And answer your goddamn phone. Yeah, Sam's got it a little rough. But, uh... No excuse for DUIs. I don't have a lot of sympathy for people who get DUIs. Will this help? Oh, uh, thanks, princess, but that ain't it. It's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, damn it. <sighs> what happened? I busted my finger with that stupid wrench. Grab me a gauze. Should be in that cupboard over there. There's there's cupboards everywhere, guy. What do you mean? I wouldn't call this a cupboard, no. Is 
this. There's the red can. should be in that uh, cupboard over there. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. I can't grab the the lubricant. No, okay. I don't know why it would be in that cupboard. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Damn. I don't think you'd ask me that question someday. Well, I wish I was. Oh, what the hell kind of answer is that? I'm sorry, Ellie, but the man you're looking for, he ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. Um, no, I don't want to be confrontational. But you two are so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but... I'm no coward. But you must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never... Look... We were just friends. I mean, take a look at old Sam. No woman like Marianne would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Marianne's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Oh, we're going in Sam's authorized place. More snooping to be had. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? Uh -huh. uh, what do you do on board? Oh, I worked the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, cleaning the hull. Ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asia route. Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow. I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh... I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Looking sharp, first mate, Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that, that was uh, a long time ago. Glacier Bay welcomes you. There is two kids. Saying it's stinky up here. Much better. Okay, well, I guess we'll just leave that open then. Star chart. Love this picture, your mama. Slow down, guy. I want to. I want to be there, but let me snoop first. Jeez, it's got no consideration for others. If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. Tina West. See, I'm thinking about buying it. I think. Hero boat captain saves crew members. Samuel Kansky, the 29-year-old captain of the Anayak Rose 
They didn't think twice before jumping into the ice cold, choppy waters of Mitchell Point to save members of his crew at their, their vessel capsized off the coast of Juneau. He's got it framed. He ain't no coward. I'll, I'll come look. Jesus Christ, buddy. Dad. Attached. What does it say? Talk to mom, and she said you were having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough to put some food in the fridge. Call me. 150 bucks. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, I might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. Um, salmon casserole. Ugh. Grilled cheese, Tessa's leftovers, spaghetti, catch of the day. Nice, got a meal plan. All right, hold on, guy. I'm almost done. Please don't continue without me. All right. That's it. What's all this? Here, I uh, kept a few things. Picture of the dad. I feel like um, it's not Griggs. If he's going to show me a picture of the dad, then I would obviously immediately recognize Griggs. Greggs, Griggs, whatever. Um, I don't think that's Marianne. I think that's Sam and Laura. Or no, wait. So on the left, probably Sam and Laura, and on the right, probably Marianne. Well, that's only one kid, though. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Dear Sam, I'm writing from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno, and you were right. The kids love the whole uh, the whale mural. Our other favorite was the uh, Raven mural over uh, at C City Hall. Today we took the trailway to the top of Mount Roberts. Kids wanted to hike the trail, but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow, we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glacier still looks like what's on the other side. Hope, hope. Hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load, Mary Ann. Here's Sam. Most bears only live 20 to 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly wouldn't have survived long out here without you. So thanks again for everything you do. Laura's a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget, the Anayak Chak Rose will always be seaworthy. It just might look a bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend. So they were close um, when he was with Laura. I'm guessing, um, and I probably guessed it before, that, that Miriam may have been the Swords reason for the divorce. Schemes. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. Whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? I, uh... Well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. All right, let's do it. <laughs> no! Look at these ones. Oh. Okay. I was a little worried I wasn't going to be able to see it. She looks happy. Mm. She was. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? Oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. Mm. Huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. 
We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. You didn't know? No, she uh -oh. didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was gonna be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're gonna have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Ellie, you really gonna go through with this? It's like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's it's all that it's all we got left. You can't just throw it away. Um, let Marianne go. I don't want to say that. I'm sorry. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it. I ever tell you about the time I broke my leg? Shin bone snapped in three different places. <laughs> it stuck in my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama. She has have none of that. She got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats come in and out all morning. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. <laughs> Gotta remember. Time to snoop. <laughs> We're gonna make sure that he's breathing or something, just in case, you know? I'm not sure he let us have that. Okay, well, it's ours now, Sam. <laughs> 